Hello all, welcome to part 50 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate using monochrome in Kukumbar projects. So let's get started. So what is this monochrome and how to use this monochrome in Kukumbar projects? Let me explain this and practically demonstrate for you in this session. But first let's compare this monochrome with this pretty plugin. If you're already using pretty plugin, there is no need for you to go for monochrome. Why? Because pretty plugin is more better than monochrome. Okay. Pretty plugin is more better than monochrome guys. There is no use. And also guys, nowadays there is no use of monochrome. Okay. In the older versions of Cucumber, we have to use monochrome for some purpose, but now it's optional guys. Okay. It's not compulsory to use monochrome because there's no necessity of using it because in the latest versions of Cucumber and Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin or whatever it is. Okay. Uh, there is no need of monochrome base. Okay. Earlier we used to use monochrome for what purpose we used to use monochrome. Let me quickly switch to Eclipse ID and let me run this uh, uh, runner using here you see pretty is mentioned guys. Okay, here pretty is mentioned. Okay, what if I remove pretty for a while and run this? Okay, right click, run as J. I have removed pretty guys from here in the plugin. So there is no pretty plugin available, but uh, without pretty plugin, when I'm running this particular uh, project with the help of runner class using J in it, right? You are getting this output guys. Okay, you are getting this output. Output is coming properly, but uh, with pretty, the feature file steps will come with, uh, you know, feature file steps are not coming here. But with Pretty, you will get feature file steps with uh, proper colors, green color, orange color, red color. If uh, something, some step is failing, they will come in red color. Some step is skipped, it will come in uh, slightly orange color. Okay. So if the particular step is passing, it will come in uh, green color and all those stuff, right? That's what. So that's it. That's how the Pretty plugin will be there. But here we are not using any Pretty plugin, uh, nor we are using any uh, monochrome kind of thing. Okay. We are not using any monochrome in this runner class. Okay. As an attribute, your features attribute is there, glue is there, tax is there, plugin is, plugin is there. But here we don't have any monochrome or we are not using any pretty plugin inside this plugin attribute value as a plugin attribute value. So still we are getting this kind of output guys. A proper output is coming still. Okay. Proper output is coming still. So pretty, pretty output will, output will be more better than this one. I know. Okay. But earlier what used to happen here is this section, this box case, especially this box, okay, especially this uh, square box, right? Uh, this lines uh, used to not come, okay. Earlier, these lines were used to not come, guys. In old, older versions of Cucumber, right? Uh, this kind of uh, lines uh, were coming in a distorted manner with the uh, kind of symbols and all those stuff, okay. To overcome that symbols, guys, okay. To to get rid get, to get rid that uh, to get rid of that kind of symbols coming in the Eclipse output console, we used to use monochrome. Okay, then the issue used to be resolved. Okay, when you are getting some uh, inappropriate kind of symbols uh, in the Eclipse output console to overcome that symbols, uh, we used to use uh, that uh, monochrome. Okay, we used to mention like this. Okay, monochrome is equal to true kind of thing. Now also you can mention guys, it's not deprecated it. Okay, it's not deprecated it, but it's still there. You can use it, but you'll not feel or see any difference in the Eclipse output console. Okay, whether you are using monochrome or whether you are not using monochrome, you are going to get the same output without any problem. Same output you are going to get. Going to get. That's why it's optional. It's not compulsory for now to use. Okay, so click on JNA test. You see here, guys, the output is same. We got the similar output. With monochrome, without monochrome, we got the same output, guys. There is no difference yet, right? There's no difference, guys, in the output, okay? So in the older versions of Cucumber and Cucumber Eclipse ID plugins and all those stuff in these Cucumber projects, monochrome is equal true was required to get rid of some kind of inappropriate symbols coming inside this uh, Eclipse output console here and there, okay? Some symbols used to come to get, uh, instead of the proper uh, text or proper, uh, things okay so some invalid symbols used to come and the output used to look like distorted and all to overcome that problem we used to use monochrome is called true but uh, that is not really required monochrome is equal to true is not re really required in the latest versions okay in the latest nowadays it is not required guys you can ignore that that's what i am saying here okay it's optional as in latest versions we are not getting any junk text in eclipse output console there is no need now okay but earlier it was needed 
but I am covering it just for the sake of knowledge, guys. Okay, so I am not uh, trying you to uh, use this monochrome is equal to true in the Cucumber projects. I'm just giving you some knowledge, guys, because uh, it's Cucumber is not about just implementation, guys. Sometimes if someone asks you what is monochrome, you should be in a position to explain all this, what is monochrome and all. Okay, that's the reason I'm covering in this session, but it's not really required as per today. Okay, fine. But when I compare monochrome with Pretty plugin, Pretty plugin is more better. There's no use of monochrome. Okay, you see, if I put this Pretty plugin back here, Pretty and double quotes and plugin, okay, as one of the attribute value here, it's nothing but a pretty plugin. You'll you'll get a proper output, guys. No need of going for monochrome and all those stuff. Okay, if I run this using JNet, uh, you'll understand that you'll get a proper output, guys. Okay, the beautiful output with feature file steps and all those things. You see, you see green colored things. Everything is coming here. It's a proper output, and also if any symbols are also coming, the pretty plugin will take care of that, guys. Okay, no need to go for uh, monochrome actually. Okay, nowadays, you see the steps and output and everything is coming properly. So pretty plugin is more useful than monochrome and monochrome is uh, optional. It's not valid for today. Okay. Because it's not making any difference. Okay. Without monochrome and with Chrome monochrome, we are getting the same output. So what's the use of using monochrome? That's what is my point. Okay. Remaining all is fine. So hope guys you understood what is monochrome and how to use that in Cucumber projects and why it is not required and why it's optional nowadays and uh, how pretty plugin is more better than the monochrome. All these things I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.